Hey, what is up, YouTube? It is your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. And you guys already know what day it is today. It is Annie Monday, the day where I draw anime on Monday for you guys. Now, for this image while creating it, I had a lot of fun doing it. It's going to be a woman piece, and she's standing at her three fourths angle, or just a little bit not past that but it's pretty cool and you know my simple steps back in Domin's ways what I always do start off with the triangle circle on the bottom every single time I draw people it's always going to be the same and with this character in particular I had a lot of fun creating her just because it's a little bit out of my own style and I've been experimenting and stuff like that and just trying to do like a bit more baggy style clothing and instead of using a bunch of colors um, with the most recent photo I did uh, like grayscale and so this one's gonna be grayscale as well just because I wanted to experiment and I had a lot of fun while playing with the colors because I didn't realize how in depth you can go with the colors and while making this character like I said in my previous video I drew two images that are fan art of something that I saw on the internet and I have no idea where they came from I just saw them and I thought they were cool and so I saved them images and I started drawing them in my own way the original images were not in anime style but I wanted to put these in anime style just for my anime a Monday segment and I think it did a pretty good job and it looks really cool and hopefully you guys appreciate that but while drawing this image, I was a little conflicted with the color scheme because um, I just had to draw her a little punkish and usually with like punk or goth characters, there's a lot of black and since the color scheme with the characters are already going to be grayscale, I was telling myself it might be a bit too much dark of colors put in everywhere and so I was just thinking of ways how to make it different so I gave her sleeves like this uh, like Beetlejuice style pattern and it came out okay and it looked good and so I really did enjoy the end product but some of the things I enjoyed while making this character was probably just the angle usually I do draw my characters at more of an angle instead of just a straightforward frontal 12 o'clock view um, usually most of my characters are going to be a three-fourths or either farther or more to the side just to show more of the body emphasis because a straightforward look you can't really get all that body and I had a lot of fun drawing this character because of how her body is I made her pretty slender uh, I gave her a nice perky breast and I gave her a kind of a uh, I don't know. At first, when I drew her hair, I was thinking afro, and I was gonna give make her be a black character. But then things changed up once I started adding spikes to her hair, and so I made her more of a white character, and that came out pretty nicely too. And if I were to talk about some of the hardships with this image, I think one of the hardships I had would be more on her left arm. I was trying to get her left arm matched up with her right arm when it came to the pattern. Like I said, her sleeves are gonna be striped up, and I was trying to get it matched up as best as possible and then probably another hardship I had with this image would be her belt and her bracelets they're supposed to be like I don't know like rocker punk uh, like spikes or whatnot but I drew them as circles um, I first experimented with the spikes and I said nah it would just be too much and it might be out of the way and it might be blocking too much of the body and so I said no and so that was just like a part of an indecisive decision I made for myself by creating this image and at the end of the day it came out very nicely and when it came to her top I was a bit indecisive for how I'm gonna do it because it doesn't make sense but then again a lot of anime clothing don't make sense for example with this image her sleeves are super striped up and then she has a regular t-shirt that's kind of baggy and sagging and then underneath the t-shirt she has a tank top so if you're gonna be realistic with this image you would ask yourself where is the stripy sleeve shirt hiding at and so I was just like whatever and so um, on my original image when I drew this I was just trying to figure out how to do that and I just said fuck it <laughs> can't think of any other way and it just came out pretty nicely and I was like if anyone has any problem with that then that's what it is it does make no sense but then again anime clothing don't make no sense other than that this was a very straightforward image it wasn't too difficult because it wasn't very complex and so I was able to bang out this entire image in about a two hour period uh, then again I also have my reference on the side that I created earlier that does help out a lot in your creative process and so it wasn't too difficult I made her breasts pretty perky they're there and they're very visible and it, it just fits her body now, like I said she's a slender character and it just looked really good at the end of the day but we are now wrapping up the detail phase of my image and hopefully you guys enjoyed it uh, if you guys have any any ideas of what to create next for like uh, anime mondays or tutorials if it's not too difficult just comment it down below in this video and i'll work on it give me ideas because it really does help i'm gonna start posting my polls again i took a little break but you know how it is but yeah it's your boy diamonds here at common sense graphics hopefully you guys enjoyed the video going to speed it up like i always do right comment subscribe all that bs everything your boy out.